what are the customs regulations for importing electronics from India? Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will be discussing the customs regulations for importing electronics from India. Electronic goods are a significant part of international trade, and understanding the customs procedures and requirements is crucial for smooth imports. So, let's dive right in. When it comes to importing electronics from India, engaging the services of a customs broker is highly recommended. A customs broker is an individual or a company that specializes in customs regulations, procedures, and documentation. They play a vital role in ensuring compliance with import regulations and smooth clearance of goods at the border. One key aspect of customs regulations for importing electronics is the requirement of a customs bond. A customs bond is a financial guarantee between three parties, the importer, the insurance, surety company, and the customs agency. It ensures that the importer will fulfill all obligations and responsibilities related to their imports, including payment of duties, taxes, and compliance with relevant regulations. Additionally, importers need to be aware of the Importer Security Filing ISF, requirement when importing electronics. ISF is a regulation that requires importers to provide specific information to U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, regarding their imported goods. This filing helps the CBP assess potential risks associated with inbound shipments and strengthens border security. Understanding the intricacies of international trade is crucial for importers of electronics. Various trade agreements may impact customs regulations, such as the Generalized System of Preferences GSP, and Free Trade Agreements FTA. These can offer benefits like reduced or eliminated duties on qualified imports, but they come with specific eligibility criteria and documentation requirements. Proper documentation plays a vital role in complying with customs regulations. Importers need to provide accurate and complete paperwork, including commercial invoices, packing lists, bills of lading, and any other required certificates. A customs broker can help ensure that all necessary documents are in order to avoid delays or penalties. Another important aspect of customs regulations for importing electronics is the possibility of customs inspection. CBP may select shipments for physical inspection to verify compliance and detect any prohibited or restricted items. Importers need to be prepared for such inspections by providing access to the goods and cooperating with the customs officers. It's essential to understand the customs duties and taxes associated with importing electronics from India. These charges are typically based on the value of the goods, their classification under the Harmonized System HS, codes, and any applicable trade agreements. Importers should be aware of the duty rates and any exemptions or preferential treatment available for their specific electronics product. Lastly, compliance with customs regulations is crucial for importers. Failure to comply can result in various consequences, including financial penalties, delayed shipments, or even seizure of goods. Staying updated with the ever-changing customs regulations, seeking professional advice, and maintaining accurate records are key elements of import compliance. That wraps up our discussion on the customs regulations for importing electronics from India. We hope you found this information helpful and insightful. Be sure to watch out for more informative videos on customs brokerage and international trade on our channel. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for future updates. And make sure to click the notification bell so you never miss a new video. We have more exciting content coming up that you won't want to miss. Until next time. Take care, and stay informed with our upcoming videos. See you soon. Disclaimer notification below.